What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit more of a vloggy type, less organized video. We've been working on the Miata for the past couple weeks, kind of disassembling stuff, getting the clutch ready to go. So we have the transmission out, we've gotten the clutch out, and I filmed all of that so I'm going to show you guys that. But today we're also going to focus on getting the soft top back on the car and I think we're going to change the motor mounts as well. So we're just going to kind of work on whatever we can and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So let's get started. So as you guys already know, this car did not have a rain rail on it at all when we originally took the soft top off. So we've got a new rain rail here from Moss we're going to toss on before we put the soft top on. <laughs> All right, slight pain to get that soft top to sit back down in there all the way, but it seems like the best way to do this is to get the sides bolted in first, and then you can get the top to just sit up on the windshield, and then all we gotta do now is bolt in the back where it attaches to the rain rail. So what we've noticed when putting this rain rail on is, you know, since you have to put the rain rail, the soft top, and then your metal framing on, and in order to keep this all together, IL Motorsports has made these outside holes a little bit smaller so they actually stay seated for you so you don't have to like have 10 hands to do this job. <laughs> <laughs> Seal removal method. <laughs> Drill holes. Screws in between these two seals. So the risk of damaging your your crank right here is pretty minimal. Even though it looks kind of scary, it's I feel like it's better than prying with tools and gouging stuff. All right, so as has been the case with so many things on this car that we've already found, the, the bolts and the power steering, the bolts and all sorts of things are just wrong or stripped out or missing. And same here on the transmission, one of the slave cylinder bolts was missing, so there's, there was only one bolt holding it. This top hole here is completely stripped out. So we've got a helicoil kit and we're about to attempt to repair this hole. We're sending it. So what we learned today is a regular tap and die set is not the same um, taps, these tools, uh, for helicoils or time shirts. They're called STIs, STI taps. So learn something new every day. So what are we going to do? Uh, we're probably going to just throw a M10 by 1.25 bolt in there because it's threading real nice and that won't hurt anything. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, it just seems like the easiest route to go since we have this nice new threaded hole that's the size <laughs> M10 by 1.25, is that we're just gonna put an M10 bolt in the top hole and then the bottom hole will be the factory M8 bolt. So it'll be two different sizes, but it'll work. All right, so we're working on these motor mounts and now is a good time to talk about Super Clean. They actually sent over a box of all of their products and we've been using them now for a while, probably about a month on just little jobs here and there whenever we need to clean something up. And so we noticed that the block here is really nasty and while we have 
all the stuff out of the way, we figured we might as well clean it up before we button this up. So we're gonna try out the foaming degreaser on here and see how it does. Yeah, so it did a pretty good job on the block. A lot of what you're seeing left there is just surface rust on the metal. But it did a pretty decent job of breaking up all the grease and stuff down there. In my experience with stuff like this, there's not really any sort of magic product where you can just spray it on there and wipe it off and it just takes away everything. Usually you have to agitate stuff a little bit with a brush. But it did do a good job at cleaning it up. We also used the foaming degreaser on the transmission and we have some footage of that that I'll put in here and it did a good job of cleaning it up as well. Wow, dude, you made a mess. Oh no, mm. what are we gonna do? Alright, we've got a clean, dry floor now. Super easy, just pour the stuff on, let it sit for a minute, absorb the spill, and sweep it up. Big fan of this stuff, we'll definitely be keeping some of this around the garage. Alright, final item on the to-do list today. I'm gonna clean up the BMW, and, and we're gonna test out this wheel cleaner on the wheels and see how it does. Alright, got the wheels clean. Same kind of deal that we did in the engine bay. Once we sprayed the product on, we used a brush to kind of agitate it. But it did a pretty good job at loosening everything up. Once I ran over it with a brush, it was pretty easy. I didn't have to work very hard at all. I just ran over the entire wheel with a brush and rinsed it off and the wheels look good. I want to say thank you again to Super Clean for sending these products out for us to try. If you want to check them out for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. These should also be available at your local AutoZone or Walmart. But anyways, that is going to do it for this week's video. Another step closer on the NB, getting very close. Really, just a couple more things. The clutch, main thing, shifter rebuild, and figuring out what we're going to do with the exhaust. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah.